Hey loves, today we have a pretty exciting video. We are going to talk about how I style my hair and we're going to feature the VP Fashion Seamless Extensions. These are brand new from VP Fashion. They're made to be like slimmer and sleeker and just like lay flat against your head. They are so cool. I am super excited about them. Welcome to my bathroom. I know it's not decorated. I apologize. Uh, but it's just much easier to film a hair video in my bathroom than downstairs in my beauty room. All right, let's jump in. Please subscribe if you have not already. We upload videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and more. We do things beauty, plus size fashion, wellness, and hair. So let's get into this. All right, so the set that I'm using today is the 190 grams, 20 inches in the new VP Fashion Singless Extensions. Here is a one clip and it is so thin. The whole point about this is it's supposed to be like as thin as a tape and extension, if not thinner, just lay flat against your head. They're supposed to be seamless and less detectable. I do feel like these stay flat against my head and hide much better than a lot of extensions I've had in the past. Whew, this one is a mess. Don't mind that. But what I'm going to show you is the top of it. This is just a another pair of extensions, the last pair I was wearing, and you can see how thick the actual thing is. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see exactly how, like the difference in them, but this is probably half the size. Of course, the clips will add bulk no matter what, but all clip in air extensions have clips. Again, these are the 613A DIY extensions. If you want to check out VP Fashion, everything will be linked below. They've given me a coupon code for you guys. The code is just cake, cake, like short cake. <laughs> all right, so here's my natural hair. What I love about extensions is I am not in love with my natural hair right now, mostly because it is uneven. Is that my fault? Yes, because <laughs> I love to lighten my hair. You guys know that I, I'm a dark brunette naturally, and I love having blonde hair, pastel hair I have for a long time. So my hair has taken some beating over the years, and it's only really started to grow in the last year, which super excited about. This is like the longest it's been. I did just get a trim, so it was longer than this. But I've been trying to keep up with my trims and trying to keep it like slowly even it out. Um, but in the meantime, I love to wear extensions. This way I can wear my hair up if I want to, wear my hair natural, wear my hair literally any way I want because extensions give me that ability. Um, I am going to do a video soon on how I wear my hair up with extensions because a lot of you guys have asked that because I've been supporting a giant bun lately and I love, but I love because it's so fast. So easy and I feel so much more put together with a big bun for some reason, like a big messy bun because when I put my hair in a bun, it's the tiniest bun ever. <laughs> Definitely on like day three hair, not gonna lie. Extensions, like the way that you clip them in makes them blend with your hair even if the color doesn't match 100% because if you look at these and some of these are a little more pinky purple, it's just the toner that I use but once they're in and curled, it all flows together. So this is the toner that I have been using. You do have to be a licensed professional to obtain this toner. So if you, I would ask like your stylist or whoever. Another thing to keep in mind is if you get the 613A, they can be dyed any color. They are the lightest blonde that I have ever seen in any extensions that I have purchased from any company or gotten from any company ever. You guys have been requesting this video for a hot minute. It has been a minute since I've done a how I style my hair video. You guys know that I style it the same all the time. We're just gonna do my classic like, big hair curled and I'm living in this green sweater. We're getting a little crazy today. Let's do it. My extensions do already have a bit of a curl in them. Um, what's really great about these extensions is they do hold a curl, but we are going to recurl some pieces so you guys can get a good idea of how I actually curl them. So my favorite product, oh my goodness, is this Big Sexy Hair Powder Play. If this doesn't work in the focusing, I'll definitely insert pictures. It's hard to tell on such a tiny little monitor, but I absolutely love this. What this is is back comb powder. I found out about this when I was a little seam kid and I wanted that big, big poofy hair. I don't want my hair near as big as I used to, but girl, I love some big hair. You would think I was from the South, but nope, Pacific Northwest. I start at the top. This is very messy. I hope you can see this. I will have to get down a little bit. Poor hair, poor hair. So I would take this, section out, just, <laughs> this is a look, you guys, section out pieces, and I'm just going to, I'm not going to put a lot on, because once you put this in your hair, it's like sticks in your hair until you wash your hair, and since I'm on three-day hair, I definitely already have this in my hair, so I would just sprinkle some right up here. This you can get at like Sally's, I believe. I've seen Big Sexy Hair in a lot of places. You can order it off Amazon. Of course, a lot of people don't like to order off Amazon, but your girl, I order mine on Amazon all the time. But this, you definitely don't have to be a licensed professional. So on each section, that's what I would do. And then I'm just going to lightly back comb. This back comb, 
This guy, I'm sorry, it's it's gross. It's got hair in it, but this is real life. This is what I use. Um, I was gonna go get a new one, but sometimes you don't have time for that. Uh, this is just from Sally's. It's got like, I don't wanna show you a close up, but you can kind of see there's like longer bristles within the shorter bristles. I tried to clean it out. Welcome to my channel. I'm a mess. This is real life. And then I'm gonna let it down and then I'm gonna back comb. I feel like I need to be shorter for this. Just like that. And the back combing not only gives you volume, but it also will give you better areas to like clip your clips in because the back comb will help grip the clips and it's not gonna pull on your hair as much. And I always have to do one more in between. I know a lot of hairstylists are gonna be like, Shannon, quit back combing your hair. Girl, I know, if I could stop, I would, but I can't. Seen kid for life. So same thing on the other side. And if I had fresh and wash hair, I would be putting this powder on every single piece, but because I don't, um, I don't need to, but I would just like section this piece, put a little on, back comb it, section a piece, put a little on, back comb it. So I like to, because my bangs naturally grow forward, I do kind of back comb even my bangs to try and keep them back. So that is where we are at right now. This is, <laughs> yeah, you can see how uneven my hair is right now. Again, God, I love extensions. Okay, I can't find my little clip. So I'm just going to section off the top half of my hair. You can see what I'm doing. And I'm just gonna use a hair tie. I'm just gonna put it in a tiny bun so we can work on the bottom part. The curling iron that I have been using is a Hot Tools. I definitely need a new one. This one, I think it's an inch and a quarter. I would have never thought to use this big of a curling iron if it weren't for my hairstylist, Beth. She used this on me and now I've been in love with like that big loose curl. I'm just gonna section my hair. This is just my under layer, obviously. I'm gonna start curling it. Just old school going for it. And I don't do a super long curl. I don't like to leave it curled for like longer than I need to. These pieces, honestly, they just kind of hide underneath there anyway. Anyway, I'm just gonna keep going, speed through this. It's very self-explanatory. One, two, three, four, five, roughly. That's a good curl. So in this set, it comes with two four clips, two three clips, and four one clips. How I personally like to clip them in is I put both the four clips in the back. The shorter four, <laughs> four clip, the shorter four clip on towards the bottom of the nape of my neck, and then the larger four clip closer to my crown, and then three on each side, and then so three, one, one. You'll see that. I did have all of these layered and blended. And my hairstylist, Beth, if you're in Spokane, She's at Concepts, she's my absolute favorite. She's been doing my hair for like a decade or more. She's been seeing me since I was a scene kid. She's amazing, 10 out of 10 recommend her. Both my best friend and my mama go to her now too. They are labeled B1 for back one. And then this one is B2. I could go ahead and layer my hair multiple times, but I honestly just find it easiest to layer it once. This is gonna be the easiest way that I have found to put in my extensions because who wants to spend extra time if you don't really need to? Okay, so this is the shorter of the four clips. I'll take it. I'm gonna, I'll turn around, don't worry. I'm just trying to get my hair starting. And this is never super precise. You can do this precise. If I was clipping these in on someone else, it would be much more precise, but because it's me and I know no one's gonna be looking under my head or anything, it's cool. So I just took a little piece. It's gonna take a little piece and lift it up. Don't judge my yellow roots. I'm clipping it there. Clipping this here. Clipping that there. I'm gonna let that little piece down because we're gonna clip the other one right up here. But before I do that, I am gonna curl these pieces. And if you want it to look even more seamless, you can curl your natural pieces with the extensions. That'll help keep them all together. Like this, I have some of my natural hair in with the extensions. All right, and this is the larger clip. We're gonna clip this right on top of that one. Okay, so I have it clipped in back there and what I'm gonna do is hold these up here 
grab all of the new piece and switch. <laughs> Seems, okay, whoop, bees. All right, so this is the piece that needs to be curled. So here we are, the whole back is done. My natural hair does not want to curl today. She is being stubborn, but that's fine. Okay, so I'm gonna let this down. And sometimes I re-tease it a little bit, but I just like to get that initial tease in, especially because then some of the back is teased, so it's easier to clip my extensions in and make them stay. Okay, so I'm just sectioning off again, like this, getting this little piece. Each side, again, I have them labeled. I always like put them in piles to make it easier. My left's over here, my right's over here, my back's like right in front of me. I just dropped a left. All right, now I'm gonna take this one, clip it in. I like to start closer to the front. And honestly, these hold their curls so good. I could just curl my natural hair and go with it. But again, I wanna be able to show you guys. So I'm just gonna kind of piece curl this one because this is still really nicely curled. And it will kind of pull out like that. You just have to reclip. That's why I like to curl them piece by piece instead of like putting them all in and then curling my hair. I feel like that would just be too much of a pain. I'm gonna go ahead and start curling this and then clip those in. My bangs, I've been doing them to keep them out of my face the best I can. Take it like this. It looks pretty silly, not gonna lie. But then I honestly just let that chill for a minute because then it kind of keeps it at that backward angle that I'm going to want. So just ignore it looking crazy for a minute. I'm going to go ahead and curl these other natural pieces of my hair. That's that side. I'm going to kind of pull that back. I have my two one pieces. I'm going to sneak back under here. And I just kind of clip one towards the back of that three clip. And then I'm gonna clip one right up here. Right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and curl those pieces. I always curl everything away from my head. If you curl it in alternating directions, you might get a more like voluminous curl. I just have always curled it this way. It's just the way that I tend to do. You curl however you want to. Um, I do, sometimes I'll curl it in alternating, but I just always forget. <laughs> and I'm gonna let them chill for a minute and then I will brush it through. I just brushed through my natural hair and I've already ruined that curl. So let's go with this again. So it's gonna look not so blended, but once I brush it all together, it'll look much better. Now we're gonna do the same thing on this side. Kind of did this in a different order. This one I curled this first. I don't know, guys, I'm never the same. So it's all curled, all good. Now I'm just gonna kind of run my fingers through it. Let me do this. Um, and now this side. And when I want it really big, honestly, I'll do this. Which probably isn't great for the extensions, but your girl loves some big hair. I'm gonna spray my bang bag. I'm just using Tresemme hairspray in the level five. Side. So you can see the little bit of difference of that like back combing did for this side. Like that. And you can see this one's a little more sleek. So I'm just gonna do the same thing over here. 
and just spray that. Okay guys, the back of my natural hair does not want to hold a curl for the life of me right now, so please don't judge that, but I think it's because I'm on third day hair. I'm sorry guys, but you're still going to definitely get the idea. Uh, so this is what the back looks like. And I always wear it like all the way up because I like all the hair, but that's it. Hopefully this was informative. Hopefully it was helpful. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, yeah, I know a lot of you guys have all sorts of opinions on extensions. I love them. It's just a personal thing. I just, I love being able to change up my hair, change up my hairstyle, change up my color. Um, and it's really hard to get your hair to grow when you, honestly, when you color it as much as I do, not gonna lie. Uh, but Olaplex is your friend. Let me show you that really quick. Because I have an esthetician's license, aesthetics license, I'm able to go purchase this at a professional salon, but there are multiple Olaplex options available at Sephora. I just wanted to mention them really quick. This is the set three. Uh, this one is my favorite, and I definitely feel like my hair grows more the more that I use this. It's just a hair mask. You leave it on for 10 minutes. I always leave it on for way longer than that, but anyway, I absolutely love this. So I feel the most myself when I have all of my extensions in, when I have long hair. Just a personal thing. Um, but if you are interested in trying VP Fashion, again, all of the links are down below for you. Thank you so much to VP Fashion for supplying the extensions for this video. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. All opinions are my own, though. Please keep that in mind. All right, I think that's everything. I think please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and share it you could because it does help me out so so much and please let me know down in the comments what kind of hair videos you want to see next i already have a video planned for how i style my hair up with extensions let me know what other ones you would like to see i think that is everything thank you guys so much for watching i will talk to you soon bye i get too excited i get too excited to talk about stuff i'm rambling and i'm making myself out of breath all right i'm gonna curl my bang back i mean i'm gonna spray my